We are not sure what is more whimsical inside off the common antiques marketplace, the pleasing products or the owners. I think that's why people like to shop here because we're just normal, real people doing what we love. <laughs> Ed King grew up in town at a time when this building was a gas station. He and his wife Morgan often passed by with visions of the future. But when Morgan was laid off from her job in recycling, they decided it was time for their dreams to take shape with a bit of sacrifice. We'd always driven by this beautiful building and just imagine it being something other than a gas station, service station. We renovated our home in order to sell it and therefore purchase this building. That took four years to complete. Ed did much of the work himself. Today's space, a walk through eclectic aisles of nostalgia, from vintage to handmade. We rent spaces to different vendors. It's different from a consignment store though. Vendors that would like to join our team have to apply and we try not to select items that are going to duplicate someone else's work. So everybody has their own niche, whether it's shabby chic or a farmhouse, French style or boho. Just like the building, this pup friendly shop is a bit of a mix. Some of it as is and other items spruced up a bit thanks to Ed's building skills. Mostly what I do is build from scratch. I'm not afraid to fix a piece that's been broken. I've been known to do that a time or two. But the Kings say what really makes this space is the people. We have 50 vendors who work really hard at what they do, and it's like a family in here. So how many acres do you have here? Um, 15 acres. One could argue that what comes from the earth here on Brigham Hill in Grafton is not only community-based, but community-saving. Our mission is to engage and educate volunteers to grow fresh fruits and vegetables for hunger relief. So we want to provide an opportunity for anybody to just come and learn how to farm. A place where you can be a farmer for the day with incredible purpose. We feed about 30,000 people. Our food goes through the Worcester County Food Bank on a bunch of other agencies, 22 in total. The Community Harvest Project is a nonprofit run by 10 full-time employees and 7,500 volunteers. More than 275,000 pounds of food harvested this year or 1.2 million meals served. It is our goal to ensure that people who are accessing their food from the hunger relief system have fresh fruits and vegetables, which are such a critical part of a healthy diet. Amazing, isn't it? What big things come from small places. Wow, and their work is really needed now more than ever. Yeah, you know, last year, Massachusetts had the highest percentage increase mm. in people needing food assistance in the country. So. Their work is very much needed. That is Chronicle for tonight. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Anthony Everett. And I'm Shannon Seymour. We'll see you back here tomorrow night. Good night.